short, and you will just hear this disembodied voice <laughs> coming out from behind the podium. So I'm going to stand here, and, and I wish we had a long cord because I like to move. Um, so I'll just stand there, I guess. Um, I'm a screenwriter. I'm a novelist. Um, these books are available in the dealer's room there if you're interested. Afterwards, um, I'm terrible at self-promotion, so uh, enough said about that. If you have any questions about them, I can talk to you later. So I'm here to talk about tricks of the screen trade. And the truth of the matter is, when I, I was a novelist first, well, actually, I was a lawyer first, and um, miserably unhappy, because I love the law and hate lawyers. Um, and several good friends said, I bet you could write if you tried. So I did. And I started writing books, and I loved it. And then George R. R. Martin, little known author, probably heard of him, um, said to me, he, George had gone to Hollywood to work on first the new Twilight Zone and then on Beauty and the Beast. And he said, you know, I bet you'd be pretty good at the screenwriting thing because you have the skills for it. Strong dialogue, powerful characters, and a really good sense of how to plot, which is what you really need when you're a screenwriter. So if you write a script, I'll show it to my agent. So I wrote a spec Star Trek script. He showed it to his agent, she sent it to Trek, they bought it, they made it, they hired me. That was the start of my career in Hollywood. Um, lesson being that if you are offered any kind of opportunity, always take it. <laughs> Even if you fail, you've never, you've got to swing, you got to take the swing, okay? Um, and that's something I always encourage. And one other sort of piece of general writing advice, which came from George, I got, Two of the best pieces of writing advice, one came from George Martin as regards the script. And the pattern in Hollywood is you write a spec script, and then if you write a good script, you, they never, and George kept saying, they never buy your spec script, you never sell your spec script. But it will get you into the room to do a pitch. So you should have several more ideas. And I knew that the measure of a man was a good idea, and I didn't want to waste it if it wasn't going to be sold. And I said to George, well, maybe I shouldn't write that script. Maybe I should write another one and save that. And he said, no, never hoard your silver bullet. 